everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica and on today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall look using the new Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Now I do already have my face put on, so I will fill you in real quick. I do have my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus foundation on. I do have a mixture of these two colors, the Rose Ivory and Shell Ivory find that that uh, matches my tone the best. I have the NYX HD Studio um, concealer. That's what's on my eyes or underneath my eyes and my spot concealing in the color Fair. Uh, I'm using the Cover FX uh, translucent powder and the Fiona Styles. This is the light to medium sheer sculpting palette. I am using the contour color there in the middle. I don't think they sell this anymore at Ulta, but I got that in the spring. I'm using the Narcissist Unfiltered 2 uh, blush. I'm using the uh, one in the middle here. I don't know if that, uh, it looks like Undefeated, this color right here. And then for my highlight today, I am using the Pixie X Aspenovard. This is the glowy powder in London Luster. So that's what I have on my face so far today. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the Kat Von D palette and show you what it looks like. I'm very excited about this. So here it is. The, uh, the packaging looks very much like the design on the box. On the back of the box it does have all the colors and all the names of the colors. And it does open up like so. And it has two different sides. It has the saint side and the center side. Um, this side over here is the saint side and this side over here is the center side. So what I figured I'd do today is go ahead and do uh, an, an eye look, a fall eye look using this palette. I'm very excited to have this palette actually because I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I, I'm just in love. I'm honestly in love with the colors in this. I saw Kat's uh, video. <laughs> Listen to me calling her Kat like I know her. <laughs> I saw her video actually doing uh, swatches of all the colors on here a couple weeks ago and um, I, I just decided I had to have it because I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to do a fall look today using these colors. I am going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to go into the color Amen which is the color right here. It's just a pale uh, matte color. I'm going to use that to go over my primer and set that and give me a nice soft setting point. Next I am going to go into the color uh, Martyr which is sort of like this mustard brown color right here. I'm going to use that to work that into my crease because I am going for more of a warm look today. All right, I really like the way that color uh, actually applied. It applied really nice. <clears throat> okay, next I'm gonna go in with the color Devil, which is the orange color right here. And I'm gonna continue to build up my crease with that color. Uh, I am liking it so far. It's not a normal look for me. I don't normally go for uh, oranges and yellows and such. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead in next with the color. What should we do? Most people think out their looks before they start making them, but not me. All right, I think I'm going to actually go in with two different colors next. Well, one and then the other. I think I'm going to go in with the color Stigmata, which is the red shimmer down here. And just pack that on the outside uh, of my lid. All right, so this is the first one that's sort of a little bit crumbly. Alright, I really like that color. I did not wet it and I feel like it looked really nice on my eyes. Okay, 
Alright, next I'm going to go into the color... I really would like to go into the color Ministry, the blue one right here. I'd also really kind of like to go into the purple, the Exorcism. But I think what I'm going to do is go into the color Vestment, which is this blue-green color right here. And I'm going to actually put that on the inner uh, corner of my eye, or the inner part portion of my eye. And that one is a little bit crumbly as well. Okay, well, initially when I first put that on, I wasn't real wild about it, but now that I have it blended in, I think it actually looks pretty nice. But that's just me. You might hate it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I think it actually blended in really nicely. Um, I think the color didn't really stay as much as I would have liked it to, but I think it blended in and actually doesn't look too bad. So, not too upset about that. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite one that I've come across so far. Um, I'm going to actually swatch that with my finger and see what it looks like like right in here yeah see like in the pan this is the weird thing about this color in the pan it looks very um green this one right here and then when i swatch it it looks more of a brown color like a shimmery brown i'm, I'm not sure about that one i'm not sure about that one i don't know but I'm not, I'm not disliking it. I actually think it, it, it uh, looks actually kind of nice on the eye. Okay, next what I'm going to do is... What do I want to do? I think I'm going to take the color Revelation, which is this color right here. And I'm going to smudge that along my lower lash line. Alright, I'm also going to go into the color that has been calling my name this entire time, the blue color Ministry. I'm just really drawn to that, that color. And I'm going to actually put that on my lower lash line as well. Alright, and probably the color that I'm kind of pretty excited about is the color Heaven which is this silver color right here. It's just very, very pretty. And I feel like that would be the perfect inner corner color. So let's go ahead and get that. All right, I think I am done for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on, put my lip on and I will be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. I put some Marc Jacobs mascara on. I also put on uh, the Kat Von D, because, you know, the Saint color lip liner and lipstick. But I did feel like that color was just a little bit too bubblegummy to go with my fall look. So I did go over it with my Ofra Emerald City lipstick. So that's what I have on my lips, this combination right here. Uh, just because I thought the pink was a little bit too bright. Now I do have the center lipstick, but I didn't feel like the purple really goes with this eye look either. So I don't know. I am, honestly, I am really liking this palette so far. I really want to come back and try the blue and the purple and the gold and this purple up here, maybe some green. I am really excited for this palette. Um, I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I just am in love with this palette. Um, when I saw it on her channel, I just, I knew I had to have it. So you might be seeing more of this palette in the near future. But overall, I'm really liking the way my look turned out. I don't normally wear these colors. I don't normally wear oranges. Uh, I do wear reds. I do really like reds on my eyes. Um, but I don't normally wear oranges. So I think I really like this look. I think it looks pretty nice. Um... Maybe I should have put a little bit of the orange on my under eye, just sort of like to tie it all together. But uh, I don't know. I'm really liking it. So I'm going to call John and see what he thinks. So give me one second. I will be right back. That's a glam look. Why'd she get it? All right, you ready? <sighs> yeah. Okay, here we go. It's an orange look. It's it is. I went for like a full look. Pumpkin spice latte. 
I don't know about a pumpkin spice latte, but I did try to go with like a, a, a fall fall colors. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, I like the orange on the eyes. Okay. It's I don't cute. normally do orange. No. In fact, I don't know that I have, I, I think I'm, I have like one other palette that has oranges in it. Like I have peaches. Right. But not like a full on orange. And that's this one right here. This is my Viseart palette, the editorial palette, um, which you'll be seeing in a video hopefully very soon. Um, but I have actually never used this palette. Uh, I have not even swatched it. So that's the only one that I have an orange in. And this is definitely a different orange to what I have on my lids. Uh, I did actually show John this palette before bringing it upstairs because he saw it come out of the box huh. from the from the mailman. Um, so I used this orange color, the uh, color Devil. Orange Devil, all right. Yeah. Now, just out of curiosity, I, mm -hmm. you're, if you're going for an orange look, why aren't your lips orange? I don't have any orange lipstick. Oh, well. So I was, it's it's like a pink with like a green topper almost like a oh, I see the green multi chrome yeah. topper. I thought it was sort of like a yeah. I, I thought it was more of a shimmer. When I first looked at it. Yeah, so I did that like you know because greens are like pum pumpkins have green leaves. Okay. I don't know. I don't have any orange lipsticks. So pumpkins have green leaves. Yeah. So the orange look has green lips. Yeah. No, it's cute, babe. So, the foundation looks pretty nice. Not a lot of highlight. Well, no, there is a little highlight there. A highlight. It's probably more on this side. Yeah, I can see it though. Uh, you didn't try to highlight your nose, anything weird like that. Mm -mm. Your no. contour is not overt. No. You do have a little silver in the in the middle there. I do. Yes, on the inner corners. So that's pretty cute. Yeah. So it's almost like. Yeah. Uh, no, so what do you think of the, I, I really like this. I like all the color. Like I really gravitate towards lots of color and I know a lot of people it's on very YouTube. Bright. Yeah, I know a lot of people on YouTube like to stick to neutrals or like browns and stuff. Uh -huh. But I like color. I mean, I know I'm wearing a black shirt. Right. Says the lady in the black shirt. Uh, I wear a lot of black. I like color too, uh, white. <laughs> I do wear a lot of black just because it's either black or like crazy floral designs in clothes that fit me because I am a larger woman. But I was really drawn to this because of all the colors. I mean, I didn't swatch this. If anybody's interested in seeing a swatch video, I could do one of those. I could probably have it out in a day or two. Um, just let me know in the comment section down below. I can swatch the whole palette, but just the colors in this, I am really, really drawn to. Now what is this thing called? This is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Oh. Right now, her whole thing is like saints and sinners. So like the lipstick I have on uh -huh. is saint. Um, I also have the sinner lipstick, which is right back here. Uh, this is the sinner lipstick. Purple. So I could have done purple, but um, honestly, I want to go back and do another look with this because there are some purples and some blues, and I'll probably use the sinner lipstick when I do those. There so you go. But I do also have the sinner lipstick. So they, she did saints and sinners. Look she at has it. a saints and sinners perfume. Uh -huh. So, look yeah. at you, like uh, Mrs. Von D. Okay. All right. <laughs> and yeah, I I li I like the look that I came up with. I really I like do. the I orange. I, nice. Like I said, I would chase it with like an orange lipstick. I just don't have any of those. I just don't. I, I mean, you could get away with that look as it sits now, mm -hmm. going to work or or what have you. But like, if you threw the orange lipstick in, we'd actually have to go somewhere. Crazy. Okay. Orange lips mean wah. Oh, I got lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, can you imagine if it was orange lipstick? It looked That's like you really ate a pumpkin. Nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you do get alerted when I upload new videos. Uh, if you have any comments, what do you think of this look? What were your thoughts on this? Or did you get this palette? And what are your thoughts on the palette as well? Uh, I'd love to hear them. You can put them in the comment section down below. This thing is heavy. It is a pretty heavy palette. Oh my gosh. Uh, it has a lot of color, but it is cardboard. It um, is? I saw on another video someone asked if it was if it was uh, plastic, like her shade and light palette is plastic. Mm -hmm. This is cardboard, but it's a, it's definitely a heavy duty. Yeah, cardboard. it seems like a, it's almost bound like a book. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time on Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.